Well, Rena, that's a, a great question, and I'm very concerned about where our healthcare system is going uh, under the current government. In fact, in the hometown that I was born and raised in, in Fort Erie, they've lost their ER altogether. Down the road in Port Coburn, their ER has been closed down. And now families in my home area, Niagara, are waiting longer in other emergency rooms. They can't get to see a doctor or get a surgery done. I want to make sure that our healthcare system is the best in Canada, a publicly accessible, universal system that will actually put the patient first, not bureaucrats, not fancy consultants billing $2,000 an hour, putting patients first. So here's what I'll do. I'll increase investments in healthcare by $6.1 billion in our first mandate, and I'll put it towards patients. I'll set up a system of ER wait time guarantees, not targets that you hope to achieve, guarantees, and tie CEO pay right to achieving those guarantees. And I'll also invest in long-term care, 5,000 new beds and 35,000 older beds that will bring to modern standards. Because sadly today, seniors who need a long-term care bed have seen the wait times triple. And that puts a tremendous burden on a spouse or an adult child. We need to treat that generation with the respect uh, and security that they deserve. And one more thing. You know, if you came to Toronto, for example, and wanted to see what kind of hotels you could stay at, what kind of restaurants, you go online and see all kinds of ratings. We don't have that in our healthcare system, probably our most critical spending area. So I'll actually put online measurements and how patients were treated in the healthcare system, what kind of outcomes they had for their surgery. If my mom has to get her knees done, I want her to know the best place in all of Ontario to get that done and where her rehab will be the best. So we'll put that online, we'll let patients see, and that'll force those who have fallen behind to pull up their socks and we'll tie CEO pay to those outcomes as well. That'll be a big change for a healthcare system that will put the patient first and make sure we have the best healthcare system in all of Canada.